we need to let everybody else go. There we go. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Um, so who we are, as I mentioned earlier, Community Development Administration or CDA, that's how uh, we are well known um, in, in the market um, in Maryland for um, home buyers. Um, and uh, it, it's a it's the uh, housing finance agency for the state of Maryland. Each state has its own housing finance agency. Uh, for us, it's called uh, CDA. And um, our flagship program, which is that Maryland mortgage program I mentioned earlier, provides loans that are um, either insured by uh, government agencies, the VA, Veteran Affairs, FHA, Federal Housing Agency, USDA, um, United States Department of Agriculture, or conventional insured loans, that means Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. So we cover the, the whole um, array of, um, of loans insured um, in the market. There are other loans that are not insured or, or done through other channels that um, are not part of the Maryland uh, mortgage program. Benefits of MMP um, in a nutshell are that these loans are 30 year fixed rate mortgage terms, so they don't have any uh, uh, flexible uh, terms. They're, they're set up for 30 years. Um, they are done through a um, pretty wide network of lenders statewide. Uh, that in fact, we cover every corner of Maryland. Every jurisdiction in Maryland has um, is has a representation of um, MMP to our lender partners. Um, also, our assistance, um, which is more like a, a trademark for us, if you if you like, um, we provide down payment and closing cost assistance options uh, available for um, home uh, purchase loans. I will go into details as to what type of assistance that is, that is grant and, and loan, and I'll provide more details for you uh, later. By the way, sorry, I forgot to mention, I'm happy to take questions. Probably, it's, uh, you know, for it's, it's best to leave that to the end where we're going to have questions in, um, in the uh, chat as well as live questions, direct questions uh, from, from you. Um, a little bit about the, our down payment assistance. Our uh, we call them DPA down payment assistance uh, loans that have zero percent interest rate. They are deferred for the life of the first mortgage, so uh, um, home buyers don't need to pay anything on those loans. They're like silent seconds or thirds sometimes, so silent junior liens. We also have down payment assistance grants, which are um, not repayable, they do not set up a lien on your property. Uh, they are just um, you know, forgivable immediately upon loan closing. So once you close the loan, you don't owe anything in terms of the grant. Uh, we also have some products that do not have down payment assistance because that money is used to subsidize the interest rates. That means they have lower interest rates. So um, we have, a, a, I'll, I'll show you later, a, a wide array of products um, for borrowers to choose their borrowers who need down payment assistance, and then they would choose those, those borrowers who don't need down payment assistance but can benefit from a very competitive interest rates. So it's, it's entirely um, up to um, your choice. Um, also, our down payment assistance is only available with first loans obtained through Maryland Mortgage Program. That's because all our loans are serviced um, in, so first loans are serviced together with second, uh, secondary liens, secondary loans uh, by our master servicer, U.S. Bank. So they're actually connected, that they cannot be separated. On top of that assistance, we also have our partner match programs, which um, uh, are programs that we set up with uh, various uh, partners that it, that being it employers, uh, builders, developers, and uh, we match twenty five hundred dollars um, uh, on top of their contribution. So if their contribution is is 3000 5000 we match up to $2,500, also in the same uh, setting as the DPA I just mentioned in the previous slide, that is 0% interest rate. 
uh, a silent is a silent um, junior lean, silent second. Um, also, we have a list of partners of, on our website. I will uh, probably also mention, I will refer to the website a few times throughout my presentation. I will even uh, show you uh, how that works. Um, it's just on uh, mmp.maryland.gov. You don't need to remember all the other, uh, the other words. Um, just by going there and then it's, uh, we have a, a search box and you can find um, all the, the pages, the details you need just in the search box and we'll take you straight to the landing page uh, for any questions you, you may have. I'll, I'll repeat that throughout the presentation also. Um, example for partner match programs, we have the house, house keys for employees. Um, that's done with uh, employers. Um, that means um, many of, of the employers throughout the state of Maryland, and they are all listed on our website, uh, collaborate with us. They provide a certain assistance to their uh, employees to purchase to purchase house uh, houses in uh, Maryland, and we are uh, matching their uh, participation uh, up to a cap of twenty five hundred dollars. Uh, there is a subset of this program called Smart Keys for employees. That's for um, home buyers who um, buy a property located in a priority funding area. That's also a detail found on, on our website. It's a mapper and you can just figure out whether uh, the property, you input the property address and you'll um, get the, the answer whether it's in a priority funding area or not. And the property should be located within 10 miles of the borrower's place of employment or within the boundaries of the local jurisdiction. So that's an additional $1,000 uh, on top of that $2,500 that I mentioned before. Other partners are builders, developers, community partners that uh, also um, work with us or um, you know, contribute to down payment assistance and enable us to, enable us to, to match as I said, up to $2,500. Um, let me give you an example. So let's just say you have a loan, uh, a, a down payment assistance you receive from us 5,000. You receive from your um, builder or developer trade uh, $3,000 in assistance and say from your employer $1,000. Then on top of that, we come up with, as I said, a maximum of $2,500. All together, you know, you can have a total assistance of eleven thousand five hundred dollars. So these these numbers vary, but just to give you an um, a breakdown, an idea how this is calculated and um, what we mean by matching on top of our own assistance that comes from our fund. Um, so the the down payment assistance that we provide comes from um, in. Um, Funds, CBA funds, um, or also uh, from funds appropriated, state funds appropriated by the General Assembly uh, every year. One very important feature of um, our program and for all our products is that we require home buyer education to be done for every single loan. Um, our requirement is um, that. Um, all loans have home buyer education uh, certificate prior to loan closing. However, certain jurisdictions, if you obtain funds outside um, our assistance, so certain jurisdictions, particularly Baltimore, for instance, um, require um, home buyer education prior to signing of the contract of sale. There are certain requirements uh, for home buyer education. Um, you just, uh, it has to be approved by HUD, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, or the private mortgage insurance. All the details uh, and the list uh, or options you can find on our website as well. The home buyer education can be online or in person. Um, a certificate is valid for 12 months. There are certain limitations for Fannie Mae that uh, accepts home buyer education only um, by agencies HUD or um, NIS uh, uh, national uh, standards 
uh, national industry standards approved uh, agencies. Again, all the, the, the list names are on our website, um, mmp.merlin.gov. Uh, let me just describe you the, the product line that we have. Uh, so we have a dual track line first um, product designed only for first time home buyers. And um, then also product designed for uh, repeat home buyers or first time home buyers. So it includes um, everybody. The, the products for home uh, first time home buyers are called first time advantage direct and they are just uh, structured into three tiers without down payment assistance but very um, attractive interest rate with um, our minimum down payment assistance which is a five thousand uh, dollars the dpa loan and can also obtain partner match or the, the highest down payment assistance uh, for first time home buyers, which is a 3% in the form of a loan, 3% of the first, first mortgage. So our um, average loan would be is, is about 200,000, 250,000 uh, dollars. So you can um, get uh, 65, thousand dollars. Um, as um, assistance in the form of a, of a loan through the, the uh, third product listed here. And for the, uh, the other ones, the, the flex products that allow repeat home buyers, um, the rationale is also uh, similar. We have the, the first um, loans that um, do not have down payment assistance, but have, have the best um, interest rate. Um, then the products with the 5,000, uh, our minimum down payment assistance loan that can be layered with partner match, the 3% loan also with um, down payment assistance in a form of 3% loan, 3% uh, of the first mortgage. And we also, this product offers um, two types uh, or two values of grants, 3% or 4% outright uh, grant. Uh, as I mentioned, the grant does not uh, need a lien on, on the property and they are just um, forgivable immediately at closing. So that means you obtain the grant at closing and you don't owe anything then uh, after that. It's a one off um, payment assistance and um, there is absolutely no uh, repayment on the grants. I, uh, a little bit of uh, a comparison because I've been talking about conventional loans and, and government loans. I'm just, I just prepared a, a very quick comparison between the two. Uh, so conventional loans, that is the Fannie Mae Freddie Mac loans have a uh, lower mortgage insurance payment. That means a lower monthly payment generally, um, or for uh, loans with um, a, the um, ratio of loan to value that is lower than 80%, that means the uh, loan uh, represents lower than 80% of the purchase price. Um, mortgage insurance is not required for conventional loans and not for government. Uh, that also means a very advantageous, advantageous um, monthly payment. In comparison, uh, FHA, that is the government loans requiring upfront uh, mortgage insurance payment as well as monthly payments for the life of the loan, and also the down payment assistance required by um, FHA is 3.5% um, of the uh, uh, purchase price, or um, whereas conventional requires only 3% of the purchase price down payment. That's the down payment that can be um, covered uh, partially or um, in total by um, our down payment assistance. And now that takes us to the specialty products and home mobility is uh, one of the specialty products. And um, that's the product for uh, borrowers with disabilities. And I will actually share my screen with, um, I'll go straight to our website. That's even um, easier. So um, for demonstration uh, purposes, 
this is our uh, page for the uh, home mobility uh, product and um, this is also our page for uh, Maryland mortgage program as I said there is a, a box a search box where you can search um, any um, any topic you would like and and you actually get um, redirected to that specific page so uh, if you're looking for this specific product you just type in here home mobility and it will take you to this landing page so home mobility is a uh, a product designed for uh maryland um home buyers with disabilities uh and they therefore um also uh reduced income to uh finance their uh, home purchase it's a conventional loan product uh provides 80 uh, percent uh and first lien that is a mortgage obtained to us and a um, subsidy pretty much as a, a 20, 25% in a second lien, the down payment assistance. So for this specialty product, the down payment assistance is 25% of the second lien. Um, and this is uh, to assist with, with uh, anything, down payment, closing costs, um, insurance um anything uh sorry the insurance the, the mortgage insurance is not required but um other um insurance or, or escrow setting that that um can be covered with this uh with this uh 25 percent so um is is um is, is a pre um a significant uh, assistance um it's it's in the form of tens of thousands of dollars for for this uh, specific product uh this second lien also is a zero percent interest rate is deferred for the life of the loan uh until the uh the first lien until the the mortgage becomes you know payable whether the property is sold refinanced or, or transfer of the home However, as again, is a silent second. You don't um, have any payments um, due on this second lien. To be eligible for this uh, product is um, the the main requirements um, are that the borrowers um, one of the borrowers has disability, so it can be two or more borrowers on the on the property. Uh, one of them um, has disabilities or is the guardian for a borrower with disabilities or an immediate family member. Um, the disability is documented by submitting a uh, certificate of disability that's listed um, as an example. If you see at the bottom of this page, um, is listed here as a, an example that um, you know uh, you can use, and that our lenders know where to find that. Uh, proof of income from uh, SSI, SSDI, VA, or um, any other proof that um, you know copy of your uh, disability policy, award letter, benefit statement, uh, etc. A proof of application for disability uh, benefits evaluation. Um, and uh, another requirement for this product is that your uh, individual income is less than equal, less or sorry, equal um, to the area median income shown below so we have um here the list of all um the the uh, income limits set up by uh fanny may and uh, freddie mac these are updated Patty, every yes can i just stop you for just a second um sure. i think that we're only able to see your powerpoint screen or at least i am so would you mind sharing with everyone um how to get to the website that you're on Oh, okay, because to me it says you are screen sharing, so I thought I would be sharing it. Yes, I'm um, only able to see your um, PowerPoint slide. No, no I'm, I'm just saying I'm on the website and it says that I'm, I'm sharing that one. So let me see if I click new share. Mm. Yeah, it says that's on the screen, so I'm trying to. I don't know, choose something else. Any changes? Do you see anything different? This there time? we go. Yep, there you, you got it. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. So sorry. Huh. 
Yeah, that's what he says to me. Is he's in green and he says I'm screen sharing. So I thought I'm just, uh, well, sharing it all this time. Um, Sorry about that. You got it now. Yeah. So, okay. Let me just quickly. So this is the search box. Uh, up here where you uh, can enter home mobility. This is the landing page of all that I was just uh, mentioning so far, all the details. And these are this is the list of um, income limits. The income limits that are set up uh, yearly. We update them yearly. They're set up by uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And uh, they're broken down by jurisdiction and they show 80% of the area uh, median income. So depending on which county or, Bal if, or if Baltimore City, um, if you are located in those um, locations, um, you can choose, um, you can just have an idea of the um, income uh, limitations for this uh, specific product. Also, and um, all old requirements guidelines of the Maryland mortgage program apply. I'll go through a few uh, later in the, the next slide. Um, and also um, each lender would have to follow uh, guidelines of uh, the Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae uh, that, that uh, apply to these products because this is, I mean, these are conventional products that so they have to follow a specific underwriting requirements like they do for all conventional products. These are those are customary requirements. Uh, very important here is that um, we have a list of the lenders. So you can click here and our lenders, our gold and silver lenders offer this product. So if you can see the ones in with a gold level, um, which is uh, yellow and then silver one in gray, uh, all these lenders offer, so up to the bronze, all these lenders, um, you have the list, the names, the, uh, the contact number, they offer uh, home ability products. And that's how any borrower interested can uh, reach out to these lenders and, um, you know, discuss about uh, all options and also home mobility uh, product. Because when you reach out to one of um, our lenders, um, actually you will, um, you're able to discuss all, all the options. Sometimes, you know, there may be other uh, options that work for you based on the, uh, the um, uh, array of products um, I just, I mentioned uh, earlier. Let me just show you quickly. Uh, for instance, as I said, you can um, find the, you can find even more details on the lenders if you're looking for a lender um, located close to you. So based on that list of gold and silver, if you can think of a name, and then here we can uh, check in the uh, uh, search box lenders, and then it will take you to find a lender. Find the lender, and then we'll take you to a page where you can actually can have all, a list of all lenders. But it's even easier. For instance, you drop down here to select your county and find the lender next to you. For instance, you know I don't know Baltimore City, and then it gives you a breakdown of all the lenders in Baltimore City, and you can click on each of them and and see. You know, they have a list of, of branches and you can pick which one you think is closer to your um, to your uh, residence or I know working place where you could access them, uh, them pretty easy. You have the contact details, address and phone number and also location. So um, it would be you know easier to find a lender to discuss about uh, Maryland mortgage program. Uh, products or home mobility specifically, if you wish. Uh, okay, taking you back, let's just see if you're seeing this, taking you back to the uh, PowerPoint. Um, okay, Nora, can you confirm? You can yes, see, I see my your screen. PowerPoint slide. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, 
So uh, we spoke about home mobility. Another specialty product is a uh, Montgomery County uh, home ownership program that uh, designed specifically for Montgomery County residents that in, in a partnership with um, Montgomery County uh, Housing Agency and um, this, this product um, has also uh, limited funds available, but offers up to $25,000 also in a 0% uh, deferred second. Uh, again, second lien that you don't actually need to pay anything on until sale, transfer, refinance of the property. Again, it's limited in need to, indeed to Montgomery County. We hope to have similar products with other jurisdictions uh, in the future. Um, yes, limited funds. Also, home mobility has limited funds. Also, sorry, I forgot to mention that. Um, we receive um, appropriation funds uh, from the General Assembly every year for uh, home mobility um, as well. So that's why uh, the, the funds um, are expanded uh, within six, seven months. Um, we still have funds available for, for home mobility, um, nevertheless. So they do um, replete every year, uh, but um, they do expire um, before the, the end of uh, each fiscal year, expire in the, sense of, in the sense that they're expanded. It's a very popular program, um, obviously. Um, our third specialty uh, product is, is also a uh, very interesting product that assists uh, home buyers with student debt to move in, in their uh, house um, student debt free. That is their um, student debt um, is, is actually transferred sort of is, is paid under our uh, loans, but is that therefore the, the home buyers won't have to do their <clears throat> monthly payments of their student debt anymore because is um, transferred, um, you know, under the mortgage that they they take using the Maryland Mortgage Program, particularly Maryland Smart Buy. Um, it's a pioneer product, um, really, in the country. We're the first uh, state to actually launch such a product. Um, there are two or three other um, states that um, are following suit. Um, and um, it's, it's called Smart by Three because it actually evolved. It used to be limited to our uh, properties, uh, properties that are, uh, you know, our REOs that are uh, were um, owned by uh, Department of Housing. Uh, then it moved into Maryland Smart by 2.0, which uh, allowed um, any property eligible under the Maryland Mortgage Program to actually participate under this product. And now the third iteration is that um, there is no lien for the second loan. Um, that means there is no lien for on your property if you uh, obtain a second uh, loan from us, which, uh, which is great, it's just based on a promissory note, um, which is a, a great um, relief for the borrowers and, 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 and lenders as well. Uh, the second lien that, that helps uh, pay the student debt is uh, capped at $30,000, um, which uh, assists um, and have, has assisted a lot of um, home buyers to actually settle their, their student debt, or at least partly uh, a requirement and um, is that the borrower actually settles its um, his uh, or their uh, student debt when they move in the property. So if the student debt is out, is above uh, thirty thousand um, dollars, they will have to uh, come in with additional funds to actually make sure it pays off the entire student debt at loan closing. Um, another requirement and pretty much our sort of. Uh, overlay for this product is a minimum credit score of, of uh, 720. Uh, details of the structure of Smart Buy is that it consists of mainly two loans and there is an option for a third one, one for the down payment assistance. So the first, first mortgage is a conventional um, standard loan um, up to 95% of the sales price. 
And the second loan is the one I mentioned about capped to uh, $30,000. It's uh, up to 15% of the purchase price. It's forgivable over five years at 20% per year. Uh, so if you decide to refinance in two, two years, for instance, from the time you obtain the loan, you only owe um, just the, the portion, the, the, the portion forgivable for uh, the remaining three years. That means 40% of what you obtained has already been forgiven. Um, and as I said, it's a very important uh, feature that the second loan is not a lien on your property. It's just a promissory note. Uh, the third one uh, I mentioned is a down payment assistance. It's optional. It's just in line with the um, details I provided earlier regarding down payment assistance. Borrow must bring a minimum of 5000 at closing. This is just customary for the conventional loans in, in the market. That 5000 the 5% 5, 5 can be uh, covered with our down payment assistance. Details also, you go on the website mmp.maryland.gov and in the um, search box you can uh, type smart buy and you will obtain the details as I said uh, if you look for smart buy please look at smart buy 3.0 um, it's the latest uh, iteration that that it's in best form a few I'll, I'll walk you through a few general requirements that apply to most uh, most of our products um, our FICO, minimum FICO score, except for smart buy, as I mentioned, that was 720, but our minimum FICO score is 640 for all conventional and government products. Um, and you see the down payment, the, the sorry, uh, debt to income ratio um, differs, though, if it's a, um, you know, you can, you can go a bit higher if you have a higher credit score. Um, this is a calculation done. Um, during the underwriting is done by the lender. So this is more of a technical term. Um, you need to have a valid social security number eligible to work in the United States. No, um, necessarily uh, to be, it's not necessary to be a citizen um, to obtain one of our loans. You need to live in the home uh, and we do not accept co-signers. So all, um, properties acquired under the Maryland Mortgage Program have to be primary residences for the borrowers. Um, borrowers can be single or married. Uh, you need to occupy the property within 60 days of closing. You cannot own uh, any other real property anywhere uh, at the time of closing. And by anywhere, we mean also um, domestically or abroad. First time home buyer is defined as not having owned the uh, home anywhere in the past, in the last three years. There are some exceptions for an honorably discharged, for honorably discharged veterans uh, using the exception and the borrower purchasing in a targeted area. Targeted areas are also uh, provided or the list is, is provided um, on using a mapper on our website um, as well. So just in the um, search box, um, you can type targeted areas and then it will take you to a mapper. We'll ask for uh, the mapper, will ask for the uh, property address. Um, and once you key in that one, it will tell you, it will give you a list, whether it's a priority funding area or an or a targeted area as well. Um, also, we have um, limitations for income and purchase uh, prices. Um, you will see, I have actually an example here. Yes, um, with our income limits and uh, maximum acquisition costs are set up uh, based on the, um, uh, the, there is an algorithm that um, takes into consideration uh, the limits provided by uh, HUD on, on the HUD website. Update, these are updated uh, every single year. Um, also, the limits for the loan mortgage, um, for the mortgage loan are uh, based on the uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac limits as well. And certain jurisdictions uh, have limitations uh, also based on a specific algorithm 
um, that is uh, set up by uh, IRS. And also, um, as you see, it's broken down by um, the, the size of uh, household. Uh, that's also very important because we calculate our um, the income for our loans is calculated based on household income. Maximum MMP loan, as I said, is set up by uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac is on their website is 548,250. Uh, this year it changes um, every year. Um, eligible property size is a for uh, acres, we can uh, provide exceptions for more than that, or you know there are some extenuating circumstances. Um, we cannot go uh, above ten acres. There, however, eligible housing types: detached, attached, semi-detached, townhouses, modular, condominium, manufactured housing. Other resources: uh, mmp.maryland.gov all the details that you can find their interest rates, lenders, products, fact sheets. Um, also, um, if you go on the uh, homepage and um, if you see in the middle here under uh, I'm ready, uh, once you click that, that tab will take you to a, um, a form you will um, you may like to fill that in and submit and that goes uh, through a referral system to uh, one of our lenders is assigned to a loan officer who um, is expected to con contact you within two days to discuss uh, your options, all your options. So if you're interested specifically in home mobility, you can mention there that one of the question is, you know, if you are looking for a specific product, you, um, you can mention that so that one of the home ability um, a, uh, you know, designated lenders uh, will reach out to you. However, they are able to talk about uh, all the other options with you as well. So they're, they're, they're not just, they're specialized in home mobility and uh, nothing else. They can talk about all the other uh, MMP products too. These are resources for our uh, partners, for our um, industry partners. Um, so the professional portal actually provides some technical details, like particularly fact sheets that help them in underwriting those loans. Other tools that you can um, access interest rates, our interest rates um, are published uh, every day because the rates do change uh, every day and they are, they're, they're, listing, they're listing all the products. So pretty much each product has a different um, interest rate that's updated daily marketing tools for our partners who would like to um, market and um, or you know include us in their uh, marketing and outreach interest rates I mentioned earlier that's how they they look like um, and they're broken down by product and by also government or Fannie Mae Freddie Mac product uh, tools for uh, our partners. Um, another feature is the MMP calculator that um, allows you to identify um, potential um, options for you. It's just an, um, an estimation, uh, it's just orientative tool um, that will give you an idea what would, uh, would be a product that you may like to focus on. Um, it doesn't include the escrow um, calculation. So it's it's not really uh, it's not that exact, but it would just give you an idea what would, you may qualify for, so that you know it's like a, to have, you know, feel that you've done your homework before you speak to a lender, or you can ask them you know specific questions based on um, outcome from this calculator. So again, go to the uh, mmp.maryland.gov and just you know just uh, type in on the search calculator, and you will. Um, direct you to the calculator page. Uh, so if you have um, further questions, you know, after after today about what we spoke, uh, what what about the presentation, our products, anything else um, would be great to, uh, you know, talk to uh, to the lender, as I said, going on our homepage and, and reach out to a lender so that you can talk about specific options. Um,
questions, any help, please reach out to us on our um, email address, singlefamilyhousing, one word, dot bacd at maryland.gov. Um, we are there, we're, we're um, you know, monitoring this um, email every single day, including weekends, public holidays, so you receive an answer pretty much within a few hours um, on any given day. All right, so that was my presentation. Thank you for your patience. And awesome. I'm happy to take uh, yeah, questions, anything. Thank you, Nora. Um, so we did get one question in the chat a bit earlier from Eugenia, Eugenia and she asked, how is the home mobility subsidized? Can you explain the 80% LTV? And how can a person with disabilities find a home when home prices are extremely high? Yeah, that is um, that is a very valid question. Um, we're you know we're uh, searching the market ourselves for for um, uh, answers for for this question and not just for that for all actually all um, MMP uh, products or all MMP borrowers. So um, I'll, I'll start with the the last question as to yes we know the the market inventory is very very limited. Um, we are you know encouraging the the our borrowers to look into I guess any options including. Um, options for uh, repairs or renovation, you know, finding or, or uh, adjusting the property to uh, their needs. And um, for that is just, you know, we, we do encourage them to reach out to us to see how we can work out such solution that we help them purchase the property, but also adjust the, the property. So if they can find a property of a a more affordable uh, price, but is not adjusted to their needs. Um, we have other programs uh, within the department that helps homeowners. So that means um, Marylanders who've already acquired the property through us or not necessarily through us, but um, assist them in um, adjusting the property so that it just um, corresponds best as best as, as you know as well as possible to their needs so um i do acknowledge that yes the the inventory in in not just in maryland throughout the countries is very very limited in terms of affordable housing and i know it's even really really tighter for um you know um relatively you know lower or medium income uh, population uh, that means, you know, a, a affordable prices at, at affordable prices. Yes, that they're very, uh, very limited. And um, our funds are, are also limited. Um, that takes me back to, to the first question uh, of this group is that um, we receive uh, $1 million every single year uh, appropriated by the General Assembly. So that's how um, we are able to um, provide um, we provide about 15 loans every year for um, borrowers with disabilities. Um, we're hoping to get where we're trying to actually every year, but I think this year we have a little bit more luck to, to get to possibly double this allocation that we receive. Um, and uh, this is so this is the type of, of um, this is how we're able to sustain this this specialty product um, regarding the 80 percent LTV loan to value rate ratio so uh, 80 percent so let's just say you have a purchase price 80 percent of the purchase price um, can be um, uh, covered with a first loan that's a conventional loan that's obtained in the market from one of our lenders that's just a traditional loan it's, there's nothing you know subsidized there uh, but is the second part which is up to 25 percent of the purchase price that we can come in and um, sub subsidize or or assist with as i said at the zero percent interest rate 
for which you actually don't owe um, anything until the end of the life of the loan so usually it's you know 30 years um until the uh, the first loan is is changed in any way um and up to 30 years so that's that's how we actually were able to to provide and that's that's the structure of this is 80 percent plus up to uh, 25 percent of the purchase price that um you get assistance from us um that also includes um not just down payment but also closing costs and any, any other expenses um you may be able to um include at uh, loan closing so in a nutshell you know this product is is about subsidized 25 percent of the purchase price uh by the state so i hope i answered the question actually the best i could great thank you so much maddie um and I just got another question in the chat asking whether individuals with severe disabilities can be excused from the home ownership training if they may not have the ability to comprehend the subject matter. Okay, that's an interesting question. Uh, if there is a specific situation like that, I would advise them to reach out directly to us. Um, to look into it, we need to talk to certain um, housing counseling agencies to see uh, if they can assist in any way or if if not yeah we, we'll need to look into that on a case-by-case -case basis uh, i know a lot of the um, housing counseling agencies have um, options possibilities um, to you know for for various uh, disabled borrowers you know to assist them with that but I don't know, there may be situations where uh, there is no solution. So please reach out to us. Uh, we do look into exceptions on a case by case basis. And yeah, we want to make, you know, everything work. So um, we're not really, um, you know, setting ourselves or we're not really thinking in a box. We really try to 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 get solutions for for everything. So reach out to us for any specific, um, to us or to one of our lenders, and they will reach out to us as well for specific questions like that. Thank you, that's a, that's a good question. Did not come up before. We did not have this request before, but yeah, that's a good point. All right, do we have any further questions? Well, thank you so much again, Maddie. Um, this has been very informative and thank you everyone for joining us. I hope to see you at further trainings uh, further on in the month. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, everybody. And looking forward to any feedback you would like to, to send me, I would be happy to receive it. Thank you for your interest and your time. Thank you. And with that, we will end this recording and we'll uh, post it for everyone to see in, in another place. We'll, we'll be in touch with that. Take care, everybody.